COVID-19 has changed the course of the German beauty and personal care industry, as Mintel's research analyst Gwen Osserman explains. The pandemic has hit the sector hard, with retail sales falling sharply in Q1. While the German market has been able to remain more resilient than its neighboring countries, the industry at large will continue to struggle in 2020. Department store Galeria Karstadt Kaufhof has announced that nearly 50 of its stores will close, while specialist retailer Douglas is expanding online, offering mass market products and their marketplace to indie merchants. Meanwhile, hair and beauty salons are struggling to retain their clientele, while the demand for travel products such as sun creams and hair removal have fallen due to restrictions on travel. However, there are opportunities for brands that can tap into the well-being aspect of beauty and grooming routines as German consumers just try to retain some sense of normalcy day to day. Makeup brands can develop new usage occasions for solo settings, like signaling the start to a work day, and also just as a creative outlet for themselves. Hair care will focus less on styling and more on care as Germans look to preserve the condition of their hair, stretching the time between their salon appointments and coloring their hair by themselves at home more. The German beauty and personal care industry has traditionally relied on offline sales via channels like drugstores. These drugstores have been able to remain open throughout the crisis, being deemed essential stores. As such, many Germans shopping for their beauty and personal care items have not had much need to change their shopping behaviors. But improvements being made now to the digital space are going to play an important role in the industry's future. As consumers are feeling hesitant about spending a long time shopping in store, Brands need to adapt fast. Communal testers will be replaced by tech-driven touchless trialing and single-dose testing so that consumers can have a more hygienic trialing experience and also trial at home at their own pace. At a time when consumers are less likely to take a risk when purchasing new products, many will follow online retailers Niche Beauty and Flaconi offering deluxe size sample sets. As Germans look to improve their health during and after the pandemic, interest in natural, organic, and clean products will continue to gain momentum. With the mask mandate in place, brands can re-educate consumers on the benefits of rinseless cleansing in combating irritation and maintaining facial hygiene. The pandemic has led Germans to think more about the impact of their lifestyle and consumption on their surroundings. In a recent Mintel survey, 22% of Germans prioritized the environment more since the outbreak of the pandemic, and that rises to 40% of 16 to 24 year olds. Sustainability is no longer just a trend. Consumers want to spend money with brands that can protect their communities and commit to systemic change. Consumers have also started to question how hygienic their products are, and they will come to appreciate longer shelf life, as well as airless packaging. German consumers will enjoy shopping locally more in the future, and booking platforms like The Makery and Treatwell will continue to foster relationships and drive business for beauty professionals locally. For more insights and analysis on COVID-19's impact on the beauty and personal care industry, clients can speak to their account manager or visit clients.mintel.com. If you are not a client but would like to learn more, you can buy our latest reports on store.mintel.com or go to mintel.com to read more analysis on the pandemic. <laughs>